Okay, so we're kind of picking up where we left off here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to make some particle systems to make this feel a little more alive. And the first one I'm going to make is a ship thruster particle. I'm going to have this uh, generate down here at the bottom of my ship. So I'm going to go to create. I'm going to choose a, where is it? Effects particle system. All right, so this auto generates the particle system and the particle system by default uses this kind of like soft particle as its uh, material, which I don't want. So I'm going to put that there and I'm also going to rotate it 90 degrees about the x-axis. Oops, let's do another 90. There we go. Okay, now I don't want this soft particle here, so I'm going to create a new material. If I go to my materials folder, I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose create, and I want to create a plain old material. I'm going to call this ship trail normal. So I want to have to have, uh, in pixel craft, when you have a super weapon, your ship trail changes and gets a little more intense. And then when you're using your normal weapon, it looks different. So over here, um, I'm going to choose my shader I'm going to use. I'm not going to use the standard shader. I'm going to go down to particles and I'm going to choose alpha blended. Now this can take a texture into it. So what I'm going to use for my texture is from my art folder, I'm going to grab this plain old block I made and I'm going to pull that in as my texture. I'm also going to change the tint color. Uh, I'm going to make it pure white and I'll bring the alpha value up. Okay, now if I go back to this particle system here, I want to attach this material to it. So I'm just going to grab the material, pull it on, and there we go. It doesn't quite look like what we want it to, does it? So let's fix that. There's a lot of different things you can do with particles. So I'm going to do just a few things to start us out. First, I'm going to make our start color kind of a nice orange, maybe like that. OK. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make our start size be random between two constants. I want it to be random between, say, 0.1 and 0.5. Oops. This one should be 0.5. Now if I go back over here, take a look. Yeah, it's still a bit too big. Let's make this 0.3. All right, that's pretty good. Now I want to have their lifetime be random between two constants again. I'm going to have this be 0.1 and 0.3. Oops, not 5, 0.3. And let's hit play again. Okay, so that's getting better. Um, we want our start speed to be slower than that because they're going too fast. We'll say random between two constants. We'll do one and two. No, nah, that's too slow. Let's do between one and three. That's a little better. Uh, I might need to play with the lifetime here too. So if I go down here, I want to change the emission a little bit here. Right now it's uh, creating 10 over time. I'm going to change this to, let's say, 50. Okay, and then I'm also going to change the shape. So right now it's a cone with a pretty wide tail that's happening. I'm going to grab my radius of my cone. I'm going to pull it back so it's nice and tight, just like that. All right, already that's looking better. I'm also going to change the arc. Oh, no, that doesn't change too much. What did I mean to change? Oh, the angle. So I want this to be more kind of, there we go. That looks much better. Okay, so now we're going to change a few different things. First, we're going to change the size over lifetime. Turn this on. And then if I click into this box here, I want it to start big and go small. Alrighty, that looks better. Um, let's change our color over lifetime as well wherever that is, here it is, color over lifetime. Now, over its lifetime, I want it to go from, let's see here, we'll start at kind of a reddish orange. I'm gonna add another marker in here where I want it to turn kind of almost black. Or 
it's you know kind of turning into like dark gray and then over here I want this to be white but I'm going to change its transparency to be or significantly less and then I'm also going to change this transparency to be about there all right so if I'm looking at this maybe I need to make some more particles so let's change our start lifetime from 0.1 to 0.3 to 0.1 to say 1 that looks way better now if I move this up and there we go we've got our regular uh, particle system for our normal ship so I'm going to name this normal trail and I'm going to make this a child of the player oops can I just yeah there we go all right so I'm going to position this at zero on the x-axis and say zero on the z-axis and negative negative 0.3 on the y-axis all right that looks good now Let's make another one. So I'm going to turn this one off. Actually, I'm going to duplicate it first. And I want this one to be for super items. So instead of being normal trail, this is going to be super trail. And I'm going to make this one kind of in like the blue vein. Ooh, that already looks good. So I'm going to look at my color over lifetime. I'm going to change this first color here from brown to maybe some kind of greenish. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm also going to change my start size from 0.1 to 0.3 to 0.1 to 0.5 maybe. So that there's a bit of a difference. And I'm also going to change my lifetime from 0.1 to say 1.5. So it's a little more dramatic. And if you look down here, you can see it's definitely a difference. Uh, okay, cool. I'm going to turn that one off now. All right, so the next thing I want to make is another particle system. And I'm just going to copy this again. So Command-D on a Mac or Control-D. I'm going to pull it out of there. And I'm going to move this up to be right next to the ship. This is going to be a particle for if we have an impact. So I'm going to rename this impact particle. All right, so instead of having this be that color, I'm going to have it start, say, red. And then over lifetime, I'm going to have this, yeah, so I want its size to change like that. But I want its color to go from something that's maybe orangey to signal danger. And then this middle color is going to be closer to like an orangey gray. Oops. Say like that, and I'll make its transparency a little higher there. Okay, cool. Now, uh, if I hit, if I turn this on, okay, a few things here. First thing, I don't want it to go in that shape, so I'm going to change it from a cone to a circle. And I'm going to rotate that circle zero degrees. Now I'm creating way too many of these. So I'm going to change my emission down to, say, like five. I'm also going to change my speed way slower. So we'll do 0 0.2 to maybe 0 0.4. Is that too small? Maybe a little bit bigger. We'll make our size a little bit bigger. Say from 0.2 to 0.7. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty good. And we'll also make this so that it isn't looping. So if we hit play, okay, its duration is way too long. Make it like 0.2 seconds. 
Okay, <laughs> too short. Uh, let's do point four. Let's hmm. so make it longer. We do have all of our start size, start rotation. Oh yeah, and let's play around with the rotation a little bit too. Uh, let's make it random in between two constants. Let's make the rotation random between zero and Let's do 270. And simulation speed. Nice particles. Let's try that. I kind of like that. It's really short, but it's not bad at all. I want to change the start color though. I want to go maybe deeper. And then change the, since this is 0 0.6, the start lifetime should be from 0.1 to 0 0.6 so that we can see that full, uh, yeah, there we go. So it's going to be different every time almost. Okay, so I don't know why I just hit play. Uh, I'm going to save my impact particle. So my other ones, my normal trail and my super trail, these are going to be Play, or children of the player. I'm going to put my impact particle though into my prefabs. So I'm just going to pull that down into here. And then delete this one from the scene. Now the next thing I want to do, I'm going to turn on my normal trail so it's on by default. I'm going to go into my script where uh, my um, enemy is taking damage. I'm actually going to do this in that laser controller. Before I destroy the laser controller, what I want to do is create that impact particle. So I'm going to go up here, and with damage, I'm going to say public game object impact particle. And then down here, in before, before you destroy the object, it's important that you do this. I'm going to instantiate, and I'm going to instantiate the impact particle at transform.position and at quaternion.identity. Uh, okay, so if I save this, if I go back into Unity, if I take a look at this, I'm going to take a look at my prefabs, my uh, ship regular fire prefab. I'm going to add my impact particle to that. Maybe. There we go. So if I hit play, I should be able to see that impact particle. Uh, okay, it's pretty good. Uh, if I had a sound that went with that, it would probably feel pretty good. The other thing I'm going to do really quickly with the impact particle is put it on 0 and 0 on X and Y. But I'm going to put its Z position a little bit above the ship so it's closer to the camera. So the camera's at negative 10. I'm going to put this at negative one. Let's try that again now, just so that the impact particle always appears above the ship. I could do this using uh, sorting layers and stuff too, but I'm just going to do it that way. Well, might as well look at sorting layers. So, okay, right now, uh, this, uh, the ship, the large circular enemy, if I look at its sprite renderer, it'll tell me what sorting layer it's on. Right now it's on the default sorting layer, and its order in layer is zero. If I go back to my impact particle, and I take a look at its, uh, do, 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 do. no, I don't want to do that. There we go, sorting layer. I'm going to add a new sorting layer, and we'll call this uh, effects, maybe. And I want to put this impact particle on the effects layer. So I want impact. I want effects to show up above default things. So sorting layer is now effects. So if I hit play, you should see those impact particles. There we go. They're kind of above the ship there. Okay, cool. So that's how we can add particles to make our game feel a little bit more alive. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them below. Uh, if you like the video, please feel free to like. And have a wonderful day.